Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Coromon with me, Jellon, at Luna Nebula Gaming. Uh, we just defeated the Titan, Volka, Bender of Storms, and he drowned Aurora, did a lot of damage to Nygma. Um, and also hurt Vampire. So, he can also shock your bench, by the way, just so you know. Um, yeah, with that in mind, I think, actually, I will put Mino in the front for now. For now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Okay. Do you have anything new to say? We made sure checkpoints are abundant in difficult situations. Yep, yep. We learned that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we got the Titan Essence. It's time to go talk to Rigel back at the lab. So, we should be able to go to the teleporter just fine. I've got a bunch of money now, which I totally ignored before. Uh, but also, yes, I should... Yeah, yeah. Why not? Anyway, I think I've got like 19k or something. So that should be helpful for buying a bunch of healing items. Once we find a good enough supply. I wonder if the healing items are tied to our actual milestone level or not. Hmm. That would make sense. I don't know. We will find out. Together, my dear viewers. Together. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, I don't want to really spend a whole bunch of time trying to find a bunch of buzzlets in the Thunderous Cave. Maybe there's a secret area we could go to in the future? Like, that little buzzlet area it seemed like there was a little waterway towards a cave behind there. That's my hope, is that's like a secret buzzlet area for the future, but no idea. No idea. Alright, we got our Koromon. They're great. Do we want to switch anybody? Lunar Pup? is a maybe, because right now we don't have any good special attack for it. Hmm. So for Lunar Pup, let's put you back for a moment. And then... I should be able to find, like, Pitterbite again. Ah, that... I really liked Guildwing. It looked cool. Hmm. Yeah, Hound Dose was decent, but we've already got Lampire. Fiddly is our only water type right now. Hmm. And then, of course, there's Pitterbite, who's just interesting. And, you know what, we need to find out whether or not we can fix the pirating problem. So let's go do that real fast. Okay. And this is why you never download things from the internet you don't recognize. All right, you. Can you fix Pitterbite? Hey, you broke my Pitterbite! Oh, that's not good at all. Let me have a quick look. You know, you're right. My kernel is bugged. I'll have to uninstall the kernel so I can review the logs and prove my code. You should also remove the bug. Please do. <laughs> Petterbite is evolving. Wait, what? Isn't it just going to go back? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Should have checked its stats. Now it's back to a patter bit. There you go, another ticket closed. Until my own software is stable, I'll just return to selling the officially licensed Pitterbite kernels. Okay. How are you now, Patterbit? Yeah, I think its stats did go down. Okay. Hmm. Wait, with that milestone, did we... <laughs> and that counted as an evolution. Okay, well that's kind of interesting for getting milestone points. What about now? Okay, so you can spend a thousand to get the officially licensed pair of <laughs> Okay. You know what? You know what? Let's let's just take a moment. Summary. Okay. HP 32. Special attack 23. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's just do it. And see if it works. There goes the thousand gold. Patter bit. Is there a way to skip the animation? Not that it bugs me or anything, I'm just wondering. Nope. Okay. There we go. Back into being a Pitterbite. Come back if you want to buy more officially licensed Pitterbite curves. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, it did gain HP. You can tell it's not at 1 HP anymore. Interesting, interesting. If I click the correct buttons, we can look at this. Yeah, 37 now. 20, 27, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it is stronger. Do we keep Pitterbite, though? That's the real question. 
Ready to harvest, yay! Okay, so we got some fruit. Let's put a new fruit in here. Let's put in the Duria fruit, because burn is a terrible status condition that we definitely want to get rid of immediately in the future. And I really was planning to put some fruits on Digma before I went against Voltgar, but uh, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, we'll put on some gel fruit. Okay. Oh, wow. You can get a lot harvested. Hmm. Let's get some more of you. Okay. Well, that's... That's impressive. Hmm. We got four out of that one gel fruit. I wonder if it depends on the rarity of the fruit, or if it's more of, like, just a, a thingamabob. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll get Lunar Pup again. But for now, I want a bunch of these. Like a bunch. Yeah, that seems good. Bye! Okay. Combo cake is a maybe. Hmm. I do like having fewer status effects affect me. Uh, freeze was kind of annoying. Get a couple of those. Haziness, not that big a deal. Poison, more of a big deal. Not as bad as burn, though, I think. Hmm, shock, that was, yeah. That was rather annoying. Okay, and then, uh, I can afford to buy one more of you. Okay. So now we go to here. We get our 50% back. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Koopa. Wonderful. <laughs> but just note that I spent that much money because I thought I'd save money with a coupon. Therefore, the coupon has done its dirty deed and forced me to spend money. All right, then. Hmm. Anything else we need to do other than head back to talk to Rigel? Not really, other than do we keep Pitterbite? Um, it's my only normal type on this team, right? No, Buzzy's still normal, so yeah. We will get rid of Pitterbite, keep Buzzy. Do I take Fiddly? Or Luna Pup? I think we need more defenders. I'll take Fiddly. Fiddly, we will withdraw you. All right, Fiddly. Excellent. And now we run. And then we teleport, because it's faster than running. Yoink. Okay, then. Let's see. Luxolus Campus. Let's go. Talk to the big man. Or no, wait, wait. Do we need to go into the Buzzlet Lab? At least it's not a long loading screen. What did I need to do? We have the milestone. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. There... Buzzlet Lab. Well, you know what? You know what? We'll, uh, we'll go back to Hayville and harvest some more plants first. That sounds smart to me. Get another milestone done, too. All right. Doo -doo. Okay, no plants in here. Unfortunate. All right, you look ready. Hey, Galfroom types of four. Okay, it's, uh, I already planted one of you. Hmm. Four SP seems pretty good. Is yours. Hey, okay. Did I just steal his fruit? I hope not. I love gardening. Okay. Nope. Okay. He is fine. Um. Wakes up immediately when falling asleep. That just seems really good, too. Stores of 50% when in danger versus 70% with a status ailment. Hmm. Hmm. Increases XP gain. You know what? Let's do that. And then I should probably give some more fruits to people. Ooh. The burrow fruit. Okay. Let's go ahead and plant that one. Can't have too many anti-poisons, right? Alright then. Antidote, save me! Anything else? Fruit-wise. Oh, right! Marin wanted to talk to us, didn't he? At the library. Any other fruit things? No. Wait, 
Why was there a... Oh! Somebody lost 200 gold on the playground. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. All right. Uh, if only I could return this lunch money to whom deserves it. Yeah, we'll go up here. Okay. What did you... Wait. Anything right here? Can't read all these, okay. Ah, oh, my fellow bookworm. Um, you received my message? Good. I found more books which might be interesting for you. You will need them to defeat Jebediah again. I, uh, I've heard he is ready for a rematch. Yes, take these, please. Condition handbook, okay. Skills handbook. Traits handbook. Weather handbook. I, um, I think that's all the books I could think of for you. Enjoy reading. Hmm. Knowledge is power. Okay. So I can do another Jebediah test, huh? I am curious what it says about the conditions, at the very least. Hmm. So maybe we take a look at that together. Maybe. Hmm. Conditions. Okay. Can be cured with the right cake. Cormon managed to check off any condition within four battle phases, including the battle in which the Cormon was inflicted. Hmm. So it's always within four turns. Okay. Ah. Interesting. A burn can increase your speed. Huh. So the shock... They have lowered speed from shock. Higher speed from burn. Uh, which doctor is not needed when you're cursed? Curses are meant to be broken. Cursed Gormon will inverse all positive status changes, doing the opposite of its intended effect. So if you... If you're facing somebody that lowers your status is a lot, curse... Oh, okay, no, never mind. Status effects which are already negative will not change. <laughs> never mind. Hmm. But you can curse a foe who has good positive effects and it'll make them negative. Okay. Cormon suffering from poison will need an antidote. Okay, HP and SP loss from poison. That's why burn is better against HP. Okay, that makes sense. Within 16 rounds, it will... Oh, it will KO a Coromon within 16 rounds. Interesting. Okay. Is your Coromon taking a forced nap? Don't worry, your Coromon will surely wake up from its deep sleep within a few turns. Hmm. Yeah, it will restore 25% SP each turn it's asleep. So, we've seen that in action. Did your Coromon get too cool? A frozen Coromon luckily has a chance to thaw out and still perform its skill. Uh, the Coromon has lower defense and special defense while frozen. That explains some things. And hazy, its chance to deal a critical hit will drop by 20%, and all its skills will require twice as much SP. Thankfully, your Coromon will shake it off after three to five rounds. Okay. That does explain some things better. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, I should probably read all these at some point, but not right now. Not right now. Uh, I will not talk to Jebediah yet. One day, Jebediah, we'll be back. Probably for those fruits, and then we'll also talk to you. Okay, then. Do. Moving on. Oh, should I talk to the Smith guy again? Nah, probably not. It's fine. Have a good day, sir. Okay, back to Buzzlet Lab. If I can click on things correctly, here we go. Onward. As we shine bright. Shine bright. With the light from above to the mountains and the prairies to the oceans. Ah, here we are. There you are, John Lord. Please join us. Good. Everyone is here. I have something important to share. We had a closer look at the video footage, and the conclusion we came to is unsettling. The energy that these, they called themselves Wabonians, used to abduct Thomas. Our team has verified that energy was actually some sort of Titan essence. Gad. What? How? So they are targeting the Titans. I can neither confirm nor deny, but that is very likely. They were after the Essence Locator, after all. Speaking of which, Thomas gave the Essence Locator to me. Thanks for keeping it out of their hands, Jalala. I'll take it from you to keep it safe. Okay. The Wobonians did not get their hands on this Essence Locator, but with Thomas in their grip, it is only a matter of time before they construct a new device. That's why I suggest Jelenot keeps collecting the Titan Essences before they do. While keeping an eye out for any trace of Thomas, of course. That would mean so much to me. Still, 
The weird energy they use doesn't explain the monstrous Lumon. Let's take one step at a time. Our best scientists are retracing that Lumon's steps as we speak. We'll know more once we capture it. Jalnut, I gather you've already managed to obtain Voltgar's essence. I did. Well done. I knew you were up to the task. The next Titan essence you should focus on is the city of Parbury, where my old friend Hugh awaits your arrival. The ghost essence is radiating deep within a monastery. Hugh can provide you with a key. I'll head back to Lux Solis campus for now, and help my team figure out what actually happened here. Stay strong, Nicola. We'll find a way to get Thomas back. Thank you, sir. Shine bright, especially in these dark times. Uplifted. Well, Rigel's giving me hope that we'll get Thomas back. For now, I should focus on generating energy for Valua. Wait, what was that notification? Was that my phone? My phone? My cellular device. Hey there, we've developed new features for our battle racers. Drop by the Campus Trainer Hub F1 for more info. New features for our battle researchers. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of rhymes. Okay. Can I maybe do something else in here at the moment? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that waterway stairs seems suspicious. I'm sure it'll be important in the future. All right, all right. We'll be back one day. One day. For now, though, it is not this day. Hmm. So now, anything else I need to do then? Hasagi Swamp. So I think we need to go back here in the north, right? Also, does anybody need to be healed? No, we're good. Anchors away, my boys. I knew everybody wants to travel with my beauty. It is a good ship. Let's go. Uh, we're not going back yet. Thank you. Come back to me when you're ready. Yep. Well, then, let's see if this northern area goes to the swamp. West is the forest, north is Soggy Swamp, and east was Donor Island. Also, can I... No, I can't do anything to that tree at the moment. Fair enough. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the Soggy Swamp. Make sure you brought an extra pair of socks. Mm, fair enough. Huh. Don't move! The foreign substance scanners detected something potentially harmful. I'll handle this, scouts. You, step back, please. Okay. Show us, what did you bring in that backpack of yours? No, not that. That's just your average everyday cake. How about this? Stop messing with me. Do you have anything that radiates? Could even be something smelly? Oh, I think I know. Titan Essence, right? You heard the scanner, that must be the culprit. It's this energy they call Titan Essence. Titan Essence, we've heard about that from our Scoutmaster, didn't we? He said that long ago, Titans created this whole planet. The same energy flows through all organic beings, especially Coromon. Scoutmaster would definitely approve this item, don't you think so, guys? Um, okay. I'll whitelist it in this machine so you can pass freely. Wait, but we might need it to prevent Wilbonia? Oh, well. You can come through now. Okay, well, um, so are you guys some kind of bouncers? Oh, of course. Let us introduce ourselves. We are the Soggy Scouts. We're the official caretakers of the Soggy Swamp. Protecting the environment is our game. Who else can cold the area from the scented super shrews? If we don't sniff them, they'll overtake everything. But we can't do it alone. That's why we ask everyone to help. Lend a hand. Pocket snips. Okay, okay. You're not only helping us, snipping shrooms could be valuable for you too. Snip enough shrooms, an asshole can help you make your own Coromon scents. Interested? Just take a look in our scent recipe book. Wait, what? On stay sharp when snipping shrooms, there's only a 10 second window. Our pamphlet will explain more. Oh, okay. What? Please only snip scented super shrooms when they are ripe. Okay, so when they have the glow that is yellow. Mr. Chance. Okay, okay. Full list of known scented super shrooms can be found below. Zen shroom, sweet shroom, rim shroom, mint shroom, sweet shroom, fungus. Huh. Do these impact stats or maybe just appearance or something? Hmm. But no worries. If you miss one, just run off to the next. Or wait a few minutes until it's ripe again. We'll be 
best be off now. Got to make sure everyone keeps snipping. I'll be on kiosk. Come to me once you're ready to brew sense. Soggy Scouts, out! No, oh, they're pretty fast. Okay, then. What is... That's not a... Yeah, okay. That's a grim shroom. Okay. Well, I like money. Oh! What do we find here? <gasps> Fibio must be what Tattle evolves from. Into. Into. Okay, well, this is not the correct Cormon to start with. <laughs> But uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. Used ignore pain. Okay. Special defense increase. That doesn't matter to us. Ha! Huh. We're a physical attacker. Okay. Toxic skin. Get poisoned. Uh, so 16 turns of life at the moment. Mm. Yeah, no, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. Uh, what are you gonna do again? Lightning? Lightning and foul. Lampire. It's time to show what an electrical vampire looks like. Yeah, it looks like we're in the bayou now, boys. Okay. Slam. An oldie but a goodie. Try to do some energy drain shenanigans, but I think we just quad volt, see what it does. It does good. It does good. Very effective. Okay, another slam. I think... Okay, do I have a water base spinner yet? No. Ah, we'll use this. I think we will replace Fiddly now. <laughs> okay, Fibio. I tell no fibs. I want you on my team, yo. Yes, Fibio. What do you look like? Okay, pretty good. Attack, special attack, and speed. Not as good on the defenses. Again. <laughs> We keep getting attackers. Slam, ignore pain, slush. What's that do? Throw a little snowball at the target, dealing damage and increasing the user's accuracy. Oh, interesting. And then cloud burst. Flood the opposing team with a torrential rain, dealing damage and lowering their accuracy. Oh, oh, I like those. Okay. Toxic skin. Yeah, okay. Also pretty fun. Cool, cool. Well, it's not nicknamed Fibio yet. Or we'll place. A wonderful fiddly. Thank you for your service. All right. We have a new team member. Who is a little worse for wear at the moment. That's okay. Uh, you guys aren't glowing yet, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Wait. Huh. Okay, well, it was glowing, but I didn't think it'd be glowing enough for the right color, but I guess it was. Uh, okay. Hmm. So do I have to wait 10 seconds from when it sprouts? Intriguing. Hmm. Let me go over here, double check that. Is that... Yeah, it's another shroom. Okay. Hmm. That seemed longer than 10 seconds to me. Oh, no. I is sorry. Um, yeah, we should just put Lampire first. Or Aurora. No, there's a 50% chance Aurora gets poisoned. I'm willing to take that chance for now. Okay, slam. Barely a dent. Frost Chop Aurora. Oh, Clap Burst. That's a pretty good attack. Good thing we have balanced defenses. It's not very effective against us, but accuracy could be an issue. Never mind. Oh, I'll take that Fibio. It is faster than Aurora. Aurora is not built for speed. Aurora is built for clearing the area. While we set up for attackers and stuff. Okay. Good work, Aurora. Vampires doing good as well. Excellent. So, let's move Lampire to the front, after we move this item. Probably not Mino, probably on Fibio, actually. And I'll switch you to the front. Okay. Alright, yeah, those shrooms died during my battle. Okay, so, the battles also count. Intriguing. Oh, oh, this one's going- Oh, no! Surely. Uh, surely you just. 
trade request. I'll give you some leftover shrooms if you'll give me some XP. Well, I mean, I do want some leftover shrooms, I think, right? Guildwing! Still a cool design. Really like it. Hmm, you're a normal type, so electricity doesn't matter. Could still do some crazy stuff, though. Like electrify quad vault or swarm diversion. Now let's do a quad vault and see how well it does, since Guildwing, I doubt, has very good defense. Yeah. Neither do I. Okay. Well, then. Digma. We're calling out the big guns. Poison Chomp will do a want. Digma, Digma, Digma. Wind Blast, oh, no. That could be... No, it's not very effective. Good. Okay. Poison Chomp, Digma. A uh, little fast track, though. And there we go. Very effective. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go, Lampire. Hmm. Yeah, it's still getting quite a bit of speed. Speed is almost as good as its special defense now. Okay. Mino. Well. Hmm. I'm going to coin smash. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, and that's quite a bit of money. I like that. Oh, I don't like being burned, but it does make us faster, which in turn means we can coin snatch faster. But I'm okay if Dig Ma goes down here. And it does not. Great. Okay. We get our third one in. Coin snatch. One more time. Okay, and I think Burn will fade in another turn. But it doesn't matter, because I'm fainted. Alright. Hmm. We'll switch in Fibio. Go, oh, Fibio, you can do it. And hopefully you don't take too much damage here. Cloud Burst. Mm -hmm. This should be good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And its accuracy decreased. Not enough, though. Not enough decreased. Toxic skin. Okay. It probably won't help us. Yeah, no. It's still got enough SP to still attack. Alright, one more cloud burst, Fibio. Excellent. Yeah, you're a pretty good quarter one. Hmm. So if we'd caught a Tattle early, we could have had a Fibio early, too. Which would have been not so great against the first Titan. But, you know. Still cool. Hmm. Hmm. You're mostly a speedy boy. Let's give you some more SP. Uh, I guess we keep increasing your speed. Yeah. Yeah. Dick Ma. Good work. Okay. Bitchy mode. You're adorable. You're like Growlithe as a cat. I like it. Um, hmm. We can decrease accuracy with Cloudburst, even if it does less damage, but Slush might be better for us. I mean, I doubt it, because we're probably going to die right here, but... Bolt Bomb? What in the world? That seems very powerful. Yep, very effective. Used all the SP in one go, huh? Hmm. I think we can let Mino take care of this, actually. Alright, Mino. It's time to take life by the horns! It's gonna recover half its SP. I have a feeling that attack probably does damage based on how much SP it takes. I take a little bit of poison. And hopefully we burn this guy. Yep. I hope this does less damage than it did before. Yep. And then it's got to rest again before it can use it. Oh, good. We got the burn. 20% chance of that working. Great. It will be faster than us now. That shouldn't matter, because we should win here. All right, Bitty Bolt. Take an itty bitty kitty for a nap. Okay. Oh, not a level, though. Okay. Okay. I'll accept it. Shall I defeat it, Shirley? I should have spent less time snipping and more time training. 
I mean, probably, but also. <gasps> yes, she didn't lie. Switch room, a sweet room. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, I want those. Oh, give them to me now. Okay. No, not that one. <sighs> okay. Uh, this person is not attacking me like I had expected. These shrooms, those aromas. Fresh, spicy, sweet. I can absolutely understand why Kuruman are attracted to scents. Okay. Glad you understand. Let's get this crate. Oh, it's a weasel. Okay. We've seen weasel before. Let's maybe swarm diversion, because we know it can definitely outspeed us with its double strike attack. Its priority on those. It missed! Ha! Ah, take that. Okay, double sting. Did not miss. That's, that's less great. Less great. Okay, hmm. We'll send out our weasel. Alright. Here we go, Buzzy. Show him the venom. Boink. That's 10 damage. Slam. Oh my goodness. That did more damage. What about double stick? Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're both definitely made to be attackers. Okay. Double sting again. Looks like we might have had more speed. Or I didn't use double sting. Okay. We've made it, bro. Hey, Mino has no more poison. Great. Okay, give me that. Hey, Lux Recall. Okay, good. I was going to use it too. Uh, let's see. Are you a trainer? Probably. I'll just ignore you for now. What's over here? Mystery is over here. Danger. Perhaps. Okay, more people. More people. Another Beazle. Definitely have to double sting here. Fuzzy, go! Yep. Uh, and a hit. Okay. Unfortunate. We will send out uh, Mino. Try to get this last KO, you know. Too bad you don't have a priority move. But, oh well. Uh, good. It wasn't smart enough to realize we were a danger. Great. A level. Okay. Good, good, good. Agility training unlocked. Hmm. Increase speed. Hmm. I don't think we care about that for now. It is kind of Mino's thing to have higher speed, as far as I can tell. Okay. We good. Um. Wait. These look almost ready. Maybe. What if I walk around? Does that make time go faster? I mean, I guess not. Aha! Zinch. Okay, well now, let's use a Lux Recall. Or actually, I don't have a teleporter here yet, do I? Hmm. Do I persist? Mm -hmm. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Alright, made it. Now, SP cake and feeding shard. Okay. So, yeah, we could revive some people. Still haven't found a good place to buy feeding shards, I think. Mm -hmm. These are almost ready. I still don't know what scents even do. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, wait, wait, wait. No, this is. Okay. These things have to do. Probably with making repels and stuff. Okay. I'm just. I'm being a dum dum. Oh, you're almost ready. Oh, okay. Well. well. Oh, gas slime. Do I even need to take you on? Eh, why not? Piercing horns. Yoink. Okay. It's wasting time on defense. Which, you know, it is smart since we're doing physical attack. But. But. There's a chance it won't matter, right? Okay. Yep. That was painful. Hmm. 
Aurora's the last one. Let's scratch. There it is. Okay, I bet that shroom is gone now. <laughs> oh man. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Um, wait, what does that upper right icon mean? <laughs> wait. Oh, I can't get by here. What? That must be a ledge. Okay. Unfortunate. Well, let's see what we can do with those shrooms that we have. Hey, it's a Titan Essence Collector. Can I help you brew anything? Wait. Wait. Ah. I see you. Okay. There we go. Now let's see, we can do stinky scents if we had enough of that protein scent. Fear scent. Doom scent. Foggy scent. Frigid scent. Charged scent. Ether scent. So I'm betting... Wait, what does potent scent do? Does that increase the potency? Oh my goodness, I think we just save up for that, right? Huh. Huh. I kind of want to know what this does, though. Remove gal fruit and a sweet shroom. Thanks, we appreciate you sniffing those pesky shrooms. Okay. Ether scent. Smell you later. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Uh, a milestone. We got one of those. One of these. Hey. Okay, so what... What do you actually do? Hmm. Not in there. Not in there. Okay. Attracts Cormon with a higher level for three minutes. Okay. Hmm. With higher potential. So that's what we want to do when we're looking for higher potencies. We're like muslins. So we could do that in the future. Hmm. For now, though, I will plan to shine bright. And leave a like if you enjoyed Coromon. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on what you would save up for, dear everyone. And I hope you have a great day.